This is it, guys. Last episode before the finale. One more episode to go. Sunday, everything will finally unravel. Um, or just plainly unfold. It doesn't seem like it's going to unravel, at least. But let's talk about the episode. Thought it was another great episode. Uh, huge props to Hayden and Sierra for really fighting. I think it came a little too late, unfortunately, because it would have made the game so much more interesting if they'd just woken up earlier. Uh, but you know what? Like, they definitely... Well, Hayden, let's say, because Sierra's still in it. Hayden definitely went down fighting, and... He's technically still in it, too, if he gets back from Redemption Island, so who knows. Um, speaking of Redemption Island, I, uh, I kind of thought someone would be coming back this week. It would have made things interesting again, because I think whoever would have come back would have sided with Hayden and Sierra. And then, you know, I guess maybe we would have been in a rock drawing scenario again, though it seems unlikely, but it could have happened. Uh, so... Uh, that was, you know, I guess now we know it's going to be next next episode on Sunday. Uh, and, um, yeah, Tina versus Katie, let's talk about that. I mean, you know what, when you're in a challenge like that, I feel like for someone as competitive as Tina, it would be really hard to throw it and just let Katie win. You could, you could tell she has that zest in her and um, that zeal in her, and it's... Uh, I get why she did it, you know, and I, I'm, I'm happy for her. I also think, you know, seeing Laura Moret and, and Tina like that, side by side again, and, and Tina legitimately, legitimately winning on her own without Laura's help this time, it's just, like, you understand why they were picked originally to be part of Survivor and not their daughters, you know? Like, they have it, whatever it is that makes you a good Survivor contestant. And Laura Moret is just so awesome. I mean, she has been killing it, and I wish we saw more of that on the island, or that the chips had fallen a little differently, because I really like Laura Moret, and, and there's so much about how the chips fall in the game, you know? She was kind of on the bottom from the beginning by getting all those votes at the, um, at kind of off the bat. I mean, aside from, uh, Laura B, she got a couple, and it was, you know, interesting in, in that sense, a shame. But that's also part of the game, first impressions and, and uh, how the chips fall. Um, I thought it was interesting when at Redemption Island, uh, Laura and Tina basically said, Sierra, find the idol, Hayden, win the challenge. And this is one time where it was not coming from Jeff, who sometimes has been accused of being a little misogynistic and favoring men over women, uh, but this time it came from the moms themselves, and you could say they know the strengths. Sierra hasn't really shown to be that strong in individual immunities and, and et cetera, et cetera, but I thought, it, I thought it was interesting. To be honest, it was a long shot for Hayden and Sierra to both find an idol and win immunity, uh, but uh, go Sierra, you know? Like, they, uh, I mean... Jeff definitely said those things, like Sierra was behind, It's like, that's not just editing, but uh, I guess those puzzle genes did sort of come through in the end for her, and I was really happy, and you could tell she was just so genuinely happy that she had won, and I thought I thought it was also interesting when she said, uh, now that I know what this feels like, I'm going to go for it every time, so it really goes to show she didn't go for it every time, and, and she shouldn't have set out that challenge, and, and that's why, that's why, again, it proves that, like, Laura Moret would have never done that, Monica didn't do that, Tina wouldn't have set out, you know, like, it shows that, um, like, the, again, they're, the parents, like the the original survivors, really, like they have that that will to survive and and fight and uh, compete. Um, so I guess you know I wish that she had always fought that hard in challenges. Uh, now let's talk about Monica because this was a brutal episode for Monica, and my heart really went out to her, goes out to her because. Uh, she is vulnerable. I mean, being in that position, depending on your personality, is likely to put you in a vulnerable position like that, emotionally raw, and you need to have someone to trust. I mean, if, you've, if you're that far deep into the game and have no one you genuinely like and like genuinely trust, that's gonna be so hard. So of course, you know, whether, whether in retrospect she sees that Tyson and Jarvis like may not, you know, I mean, they're working with her, but maybe they don't like generally, genuinely love her, 
whatever, with an external perspective, I'm sure that's like just, you know, water off her skin or whatever the expression is. Uh, but when you're in the game like that, like you need someone. So I understand that hearing those things from Sierra about Tyson and Jervis would be really hard for her to hear. Uh, and man, Sierra and Hayden did not spare her at all. Uh, that was real, I mean, on both sides. Yeah, Tyson and Jervis did kind of manipulate Monica, but they're manipulating, everyone's manipulating everyone, you know? It's not, like, at the end of the day, I think Tyson could have been more discreet about the way that he was talking about Monica and the rolling of the eyes and maybe not being so obvious about it to people like Sierra, like, maybe just have his close, you know, ally like Jervis know about it and the cameras, you know, so be it. But, uh... And I think that's insensitive, the way, the, I think he did say some insensitive things. But on the other hand, like, when you're on an island with just, like, these, these nine other people at first on your tribe, and then still, like, you're pretty much only with nine other people at any point in the game at the most, it can get, like, some people get annoying. And, and Monica, like, she has some annoying sides. Like, she does talk a lot and strategize a lot. And, and when she does do that, like, for Tyson, who's, a few steps ahead like I can see that it can be annoying um, and you know I'm sure that they annoyed Monica at some points too you know it's like people get annoying it's okay to roll your eyes uh, don't go overboard and uh, and that's it so yeah I felt really bad like they really threw Monica around and uh, and what I would have liked to say to her is Monica like be that as it may, if they did say all these things about you, use it to your advantage. Go to the final three and say, hey, I got here without being an ass. Like, I got here without bad-mouthing people and making fun of them. And then maybe she'll win, you know? Like, she still has a she still has a better chance to win against Tyson and Jervis than against Hayden and Sierra, who would have influenced her to, like, flip, etc. So, at the end of the day, she made the right decision to stick with Tyson and Jervis and vote out Hayden. But it was really hard. Um to watch. So now, next, I wrote next week, but actually this, this Sunday, um, I kind of hope things will shake up, like maybe Laura M will return from redemption and win immunity all the way to the end so that it's like a different final three than just Tyson, Jervis, and Monica, but I still really want Tyson to win, and I still think that even if it they go on the straight course, and it is Tyson, Jervis, and Monica without any any big whoopies. Then, uh, then I think that would still be fine. Like that's still part of it, and getting yourself to the end. Um, so, but that's still the only straightforward part. Like to me, it's obvious I would vote for Tyson to win, but I still don't think he's like guaranteed to win. I think it could be anyone, and I'm still waiting to see final tribal. Like I will, I will say that that's what's gonna really do it, I think, for many of the people there. Uh, though it really seems like the jury is rooting for Tyson to get voted out. Like, they they want him to get shaken up. But I think they'll also recognize his game if he does make it to the end. Uh, we'll see. Someone wrote in my comments um, this past week that uh, they were wondering if they were going to have a loved ones or something um, reunion, which would, you know, they shouldn't do it at all, seeing as this is a loved one season, and looks like they didn't do it at all, so it makes sense to me, I mean, you know, they had their loved ones all season, so, uh, but that also means there was no auction, actually, there was no auction, no letters, uh, but yeah, I, I can't say I particularly missed it, so I'm excited for the finale, um, my money is still on Tyson, and um, I hope Laura Moret gets back into the game. Let me know what you guys think.